Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is the Dark My Phone Clinic. We have um, the Latitude 7390 that a customer brought to us. Actually, when he brought the system, yeah, I noticed the inbuilt battery that was inside. It has pushed up the back cover. So I noticed it was the battery, you can see. That's the battery that was 40. So, um, because to, to the customer, to the understanding of the customer, he said it's the battery because anytime he plugged it, basically remove the the charger, it will just go off. So it's not even charging. So I feel it is the battery. So I had to take the battery. I had to go to the market where they sell those parts. You can see um I've um dismounted the system. So the reason I dismounted the system was because of when I get to the market, I replace the battery and I plug the charger just to know whether the stuff is charging. So I, I eventually I plugged it and it was not increasing, the percentage was not increasing. So I had to bring it back to the office. So I noticed the battery connector, it was just supplying zero volts, no voltage at all. It's just the, um, what is it called? The... BSI, the battery status in the gate store that was that was giving us three point something votes. I'm going to show you guys on the video. So the reason why I'm turning the back of the and board, you can see there's a kind of bond on the black tape, the insulator tape, the heat tape. So I'm going to move the tape so that you guys will see. So on our, on our charging connector. That's, these are charging connector actually and that's the charging port so um when you plug your charging port is on the charging port section is giving us 19 volts well, on the battery section is giving us 0. 0 0.0 so nothing like voltage that will be able to charge our battery but on the bsi we are getting 30 points something votes which shows that's why anytime we plug our laptop it's going to give us um it's going to indicate that it's charging but it's not going to increase because of the voltage zero zero so you can see this is where the problem lies one transistor is 40 you can see this is a bone transistor. This is a bone transistor. I think this is a um, transistor PO6 transistor. So I'm going to check my schematic to know the function of that transistor, if it's useful. And if it's not useful, or if I don't have the kind of transistor, and if it's not relevant, if the replacement is not relevant, I mean. So I, I think I'll just leave it then. I'll try and check the MOSFET that controls the I think the battery and the charging so if I have the MOSFET I'm going to replace but if I don't have the MOSFET I'm going to do a kind of bypassing on that MOSFET so that we can have um, a kind of 10 volt or 19 volt on the battery session so um So um, this is the PO6 transistor that's 40. So I'm going to remove the bond transistor. That's the PO6 transistor. So before removal, there is a write-up on the screen. Hope you can see. So um, the function of the PO6 transistor has to do with the output according to this um right up so you know i was telling you guys uh, i'm going to check the function of the po6 so the function is just to do the work of switching of outputs so that is the function of the um po6 transistor look at on the right up check the po3 the po3 transistor what does it what does it do it does the works of enable key on wake up that's the function po3 it's a key on that that means 
key on that's the our keyboard light it does the works of the switching like the light that's what it does anytime you maybe anytime it goes off anytime you click on the the keyboard the light is going to pop off it if it has keyboard light so that's the function of po3 but the po6 that's what that's our major concern so it does the works of um, the output that's from the battery connector since since it has got bonds so we are going to remove it from the board so now since we don't have this kind of transistor to replace on that um spot so we are going to do a kind of bypassing on the i think um, is it charging the no the that 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 is the p p50 something i think p50 I'm, I'm, if i'm not mistaken but i'm going to show you guys you see the mosfet that will be bypassing so that will be will bypass the mosfet so that we will have um 19 volts or 10 volts on the battery connector so that it will be able to charge our battery so now um i'm trying to check which mosfet we can use for the bypassing so we can get a uh, 19 volt on our battery connector Yeah, I think um, at this at this junction, um, I'm seeing a particular MOSFET that we are going to use for the bypassing, so we can get 19 volts on our battery connector. So we have this MOSFET S510. That's the MOSFET that we are going to use. So I'm going to bypass it. So this is the this is the um, an area between um, I think the charging charging um the charging voltage and the battery um connector so we are going to bypass i'm going to do a kind of work there so you see so that means i'm going to um be working on the source and the gate of the mosfet the source and the gate of the mosfet so i'm going to do a kind of bypassing there so you guys will see so there will be a kind of um, a picture on the screen so that you'll be able to see. So just take a while to do um, where to do cable <laughs> so um you can see the the wired i use from the um gates to the source of the mosfet so now we are having so i'll be plugging my charger so that i'll check if i'm having a kind of vot voltage on the battery connector so let's check now on the testimeter so what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, we have 13.4 volts. 13.4 volts. So I think we have a voltage on the battery connector now. So definitely this will charge our battery. So with this um, solution, I think 
it can solve a laptop that is charging but not increasing so you can still apply the same solution to your own similar case if your case if your laptop is not Dell Dell Latitude 7390 you can still apply the same um, solution to it so you can see I have to put my it it tape so that if there's a kind of I know the atmosphere to be generating a kind of it as I had to put my tape so now um i've done fast forward i've done the coupling of the laptop so now i'm about to test i'm trying to test so you know i told you guys that i had to return the new the, the new battery i bought because it was not increasing on the initial stage so i had to tell the supplier the supplier of that battery that i need to work on the board so you can see it's on five percent so we have to chill a little bit so so we see if it's going to increase or not it's on five percent so um lastly if you've not subscribed to this channel please do please do click on the subscribe button and don't forget the bell icon also click on the bell icon so that anytime we drop an update like this you'll be able to get you'll be the first to get an update like this so um don't forget this is the mobile phone clinic so like i on the video now you can see i'm still using the um the swollen battery the reason i'm using the swollen battery is because i want to test everything here on in the office before i'll take my system to the market and test it with a new battery so it's still on five percent i'm still trying to check if it will increase or not as i'm refreshing refreshing so let's hold on if it's going to increase by by a percentage still still on five percent we still have to hold on a bit because that battery you can see the battery also is not that good but at least since it's indicating on my it still have a kind of power that can power up the system that means still a little bit good so let's see if it's going to increase okay i'm trying to off the keyboard light and dim the keyboard uh, the screen rather so the keyboard light also is on so i'm going to power it off that's what i did just now that is fn and the now we have seven percent now so guys um like i told you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this digital my phone clinic